morning all hope everybody is doing good in our last video we discussed about the we discussed about the parallel resonance and how to find the resonant frequency for a tank circuit today we are going to discuss about the problems on parallel resonance okay so as we know that a parallel resonance is varies with respect to the nature of the circuit that is we solve the resonance frequency we find out the resonance frequency for a given tank circuit which is having the in one branch is having the resistance and an inductor and another branch is having the only the capacitor okay my objective is in this problem i just want to find out the resonant frequency for a given circuit in this circuit we have a resistor and inductor in one branch and another branch is having the resistance of a capacitance so the impedance of the first branch is r1 plus j xl1 okay the second branch impedance is r2 minus j xc okay so for this one we have to find out the impedance sorry we have to find out the resonant frequency the total admittance the total admittance is the re reciprocal of total impedance that is 1 by z1 plus 1 by z2 as we know that the z1 and z2 values i just substituted if i cross multiplied with r minus j xl for this one and r2 plus j xc for this one i will get these equations okay i am separating the real parts and the imaginary parts of this equation the real part of the first equation is r1 by r1 square plus xl square and the real part of the second equation is r2 by r2 square plus xc square so this is my real part and the imaginary part in this in this equation is minus j xl by r1 square plus x square the real imaginary part of this one is plus j xc by r square plus r2 square plus x square so if i come i will take minus j as a common means xl by r1 square plus x square minus xc by r2 square plus x square okay as we know that at resonance the net susceptance value is equals to zero that is imaginary part is always equals to zero that is what i am doing okay so i am equating this component to equals to zero okay so if i find this one means xl by r1 xl by r1 square plus xl square is equals to xc by r2 square plus xc square as we know that okay xl equals to omega naught l xc equals to 1 by omega naught c i am substituting the all component that is in the two places okay we will get this equation and and if i taken omega naught square c omega naught square c square as a lcm means this component will become r square omega naught square c square and omega naught c square whole square and this omega naught c gets cancelled in the numerator we get omega naught c only in the denominator we will get r square omega naught square c square plus 1 okay in the rhs if i say, and in this equation omega naught omega naught gets cancelled okay so that if i cross multiply with these two l into r square omega naught square c square plus 1 and c into r1 square plus omega naught square l square that is what i written over here okay if i multiply with c the first term will become r square omega naught square l into c square plus l and if i multiply with c r c into r1 square omega naught square l square into c okay and then i am taking out this one in this side okay i am rhs i am taking into lss right so that it will comes as a r square omega naught square lc square minus omega naught l square c and i am sending l to rhs side so that c r1 square minus l okay i am i am taking common as a omega naught square lc so that the first component is having only c into r2 square in the second component we have only l okay so that the rhs as such omega naught lc if i am writing omega naught square value means c r1 square l by lc into c into r2 square by minus l okay so this is the resonant frequency square but we need only resonant frequency so i am taking considering a root so that c r1 square minus l by lc into lc into c r2 square minus l okay i am taking out the 1 by root lc for the if i taking out the 1 by root lc means the numerator and denominator is having the p r1 square minus l by p r2 square minus l okay 
so if i this is the re angular resonant frequency if i want to I, my object is to find out the resonant frequency in hz okay so that i am multiplying with i am dividing with 2 pi so 1 by 2 pi root lc square root of c r1 square minus l by c r2 square minus l hz okay this is the solution for the given problem okay guys this is an another problem in a similar way we have to do and this is the solution for that one okay kindly solve this the example and prove that one okay and i am considering an another example so this is the circuit which is having the r value we didn't know okay our objective is to find the r value at resonance okay so the impedance of the first branch is r minus z2 the impedance of the second branch is 10 plus j10 okay the net admittance is 1 by 10 plus j10 plus 1 by r minus j2 okay and if i cross multiply it with the 10 minus j10 with the first term and r plus j2 with the second term we will get this one and separating the real and imaginary values so that at resonance the net acceptance is equals to zero that is i am equating the imaginary component to equals to zero so that 10 divided by 200 minus 2 divided by r square plus 4 equals to zero okay so that from that one if we solve the value of r will come as 6 ohm this is the another problem and another problem i am concerned is for a given circuit we have to find the value of c at resonance the same thing we have to do okay that is we have to take the two impedances first impedance value is 20 plus j 37.7 the second impedance is 10 minus j xc okay we don't know the value of c if i do the same thing that is the net admittance is 1 by z1 plus 1 by z2 we know the z1 and z2 values if i cross multiply it with 20 plus 20 minus j 37.7 with the first term and 10 plus j exceed the second term we get these two separating the real and imaginary values okay so this is your imaginary component that is net susceptance value at resonance the net susceptance value is equals to zero so i am equating to zero if i solve this equation okay so if you solve this equation we will get the roots of this equation is two things that is 45.41 r 22.2 ohm okay this is your net for this equation the roots are these two okay so that one we our objective is to find out the capacitance as we know that x equals to 1 by 2 pi fc so if i substitute the values of 2 pi f in this equation we will get the capacitance value as two different values okay for this this is the solution for the given problem i am giving an another problem example 4 for you guys okay hope you understood the above set problems solve this problem and say the value of l okay thank you guys have a nice day hope you understood take care